Hey everyone, Kaylee here, and today I have seven holiday hairstyles. This is a mix of like casual and formal hairstyles, and I came up with little parties to go along with each one just for fun, but obviously you can wear each of these to whatever party you want, and you don't even have to wear them for holiday things. I think they're pretty for any day. So let's get into it. So first we've got this white elephant party hairstyle, which is nice and just laid back and casual. So I'm starting with my hair parted on the side and I'm taking all my hair from over one ear and then I'm going to leave out some hair around my face and over my ear. Clip that one to hold it in place and then do the same thing on the other side. Now if you have bangs this is a good time to leave those out and if you don't like how your hair looks with little pieces around the face just go ahead and take the whole section back. Once you have your sections ready go ahead and pull them to the back of your head and secure them with an elastic. Then we're going to finish this hairstyle off by grabbing a little bit of extra hair and then we're going to tie that into a knot by looping it around and then pulling the hair through that loop. Once you've got that, all you have to do is pin that in place against your head. I love how this little tail looks hanging out of the knot. If you're not as much a fan of it, you can kind of wrap it around and create a really cool intricate looking bun. And that's it for our first hairstyle. This is totally casual but still put together and I think this will work really well on any hair texture. This next hairstyle is great for seeing Christmas lights or anytime you're going to be outdoors. You're going to split your hair in half and then on one side we're going to do a Dutch braid. So start with the hair right at the front of your head, go ahead and split it into three and then start braiding underneath. Then you're just going to add in hair like you would with a French braid. So pick up some hair and add it into the braid and continue doing that until you reach kind of the back of your head where like a low ponytail would normally be. And once you've braided all the hair from this side of your head, go ahead and massage each little piece of the braid. That way you can get it a little bit more voluminous and dramatic and therefore more holiday ready. Then go ahead and braid the rest of the hair till you reach the end. Massage the braid again just for a little bit of extra volume and then secure the end with an elastic. And now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So same Dutch braid and secure it with an elastic at the end. I picked Dutch braids for this hairstyle because if you're going to be outdoors, you can wear your hat and your scarf, but then when you get indoors, you can take it off and the braids are still going to look great. So now if you want to, you can loosen up some pieces around your face and then we're going to start making the bun. So first I looped one braid around in kind of a bun and then I pinned that in place. And clearly I forgot to braid a section of hair. You're going to see what I do to fix that right now. So I'm going to loop the second braid over the first one in another bun kind of on top of the first one. Make sure that you tuck the end under and then if you have any extra hair like I did, you can actually just tuck the hair up and under the bun and then you just pin it all in place. That way you don't have to redo your entire braid because that's no fun. And that's it. I love this braided updo. I think it's beautiful and it's the perfect way to like slay your winter hair game because you can wear it with scarves and it's still going to look awesome. And here's how to have some fun at your tacky sweater party. You can just go ahead and brush your hair up into a really high ponytail and then make a top knot. My favorite way to do that is to take a hair donut and put that around the base of my ponytail and then wrap my ponytail around the donut because that way I don't have to tease my hair, but I still get that kind of like cool, effortless looking top knot. And it doesn't have to be like a perfect ballerina bun. So I just wrap the ends around and pin it in place. Then again, I loosened up some hair around my face and I took these bows that I got from the dollar store and I turned them into hair accessories by just putting a bobby pin through one of the loops of the bows. And then you can use that to stick it directly into your hair. So I use these to make a little ring of bows around my top knot and I thought this was super cute. It's a way to kind of bring the tacky party to your hair, but also if you don't own a Christmas sweater, you could go ahead and use these instead and just wear your most holiday looking sweater. And that way you don't have to buy a sweater for just one day. You spend a dollar on bows and you can still totally participate in the tacky party. I think this is super cute and I would totally do this at a party. And now I've got one last casual hairstyle for you. We're going to start with our hair parted on the side. And if you have long hair, you can take a section of hair from right behind your ear on the opposite side from where your hair is parted. And then that's going to go over your head and create our little crown fishtail braid. If your hair is shorter, however, you can just take a section of hair from right next to your part and braid that instead. So pick whatever section of hair works best for you and then go ahead and start fishtail braiding that. For a fishtail braid, you just split your hair into two sections and you take turns trading little pieces of hair from one section to the other. After you've gone about six to seven inches, go ahead and take a break and pull on each little piece of the braid to volumize it. Then start braiding again. You're just going to braid again until you get to the end of your hair and then pull it apart once again to get the extra volume. Once you get to the end, go ahead and secure it with an elastic. Then if you went with the long hair method, go ahead and pin the hair on top of your head to make sure that it stays in place. 
Then pull everything over into a side ponytail and secure it with an elastic. Make sure to get the end of your braid into this ponytail as well. And now we're moving on to braid number two. So I did another fishtail braid and once I got to the end, I went ahead and pulled it apart and then secured it with an elastic. And that's it for this hairstyle. I really love this one. I think you can dress it up or you can dress it down and it's gonna look great in pictures because it looks great from every angle. And now we're onto the work party. You're gonna start with your hair parted on the side and then we're gonna part it in the back by putting one finger against the end of your part, one finger behind your ear and bringing them together. And that's our part for the back. Then take the hair on the side that your hair is parted on and go ahead and clip that out of the way. We're going to make the twist first. And all you have to do is start with your hair next to your hairline and begin twisting and just pick up more hair as you twist. And that way you can twist this entire section so that it's back and out of the way very quickly and easily. Once you've got all that hair twisted, go ahead and pin it in place a couple of times. And then if you want to curl your hair, you can go ahead and curl the ends. Now this will look good on any hair texture, but I decided to curl my hair and I'm using a one and a quarter inch barrel for this. I'm just curling my hair away from my face and allowing it to cool. Once it's cool, I'm just gonna run my fingers through it to break up the curls and that is it for this hairstyle. I like this hairstyle because it's totally office appropriate, but it's also very glamorous, which is something you don't normally get to do at work. Speaking of glamorous, let's move on to this cocktail party ready hairstyle. Start by taking a large section of hair from behind your ear. We're going to use this for the braid later, so go ahead and just leave that out. Then pull everything else back into a kind of middle to low ponytail. Just use your fingers to rake your hair back so that it looks a little bit messy. Then secure it with an elastic. Now split the hair over the ponytail so that you have a little opening and feed your ponytail up and through that opening. This creates a little bit of a topsy tail. Tighten that a little bit and now we're just going to gently backcomb the underside of the hair. This is gonna to help to kind of net it together. Now make a donut shape by curling your hair up and over to make a little donut and then roll that up like a sleeping bag until you get to right underneath your hair elastic. And this is gonna create the kind of chignon slash bun that we have going on. Once you've got that resting against the back of your head, use a couple of bobby pins to hold that in place. Now take the edge of the hair and gently pull it so that it rests against your head and pin it in place right there. The back combing should make this pretty easy. Then do the same thing on the other side. And now all you have left is the braid. So go ahead and braid the section that we left out. Once you've reached the end, massage it a bit to add volume and then secure it with an elastic. Now you just have to wrap it over the bun. So I'm going to wrap it around the top of the bun and then once I've got that done, I'm just going to start pinning it to make sure that it stays nicely in place. And finish it off by taking the end of the braid and tucking it underneath your chignon and pinning that in place. And that's it for this hairstyle. I think it is so beautiful and so glamorous. It is completely ready for any formal or semi-formal occasion you have this holiday. And now we're on to New Year's Eve. You're gonna start by adding some volume right to the top of your head in this little pompadour section by teasing lightly and then smoothing it out. Then go right behind your ears and section the hair from behind your ears to right behind where we made the pompadour. Then you're going to create a ponytail here and loosen up the pompadour area for some volume. Then split the remaining hair in half and use each half to create a ponytail. Now we're just going to use each ponytail to create three knotted buns. For the top, I'm just going to loop the hair once and then pull the hair through that loop and use that to create a bun. So I'm just going to pin that against my head once I've loosened it up a little bit and then I'm taking the tail, tucking it underneath the knot and pinning that in place. For the next two, I'm actually going to tie them into half knots like you're tying a shoelace. So I'm tying this half knot and then I'm going to put it up and over top of the hair elastic. I'm gonna loosen it up just a little bit and then pin that in place. Now create another half knot with those ends. Again, we're going to loosen it up, place that against your head and pin it in place. If you have kind of long ends left, go ahead and tie another half knot and just pin that in place to get the ends out of the way. And now we're gonna do the same thing again. So split your hair in half, make another half knot, and then put that on top of your hair elastic. Loosen it up and pin it in place. Now make another half knot and position that one just below the one we just pinned. Again, pin that in place. If you have any ends left, tie them a couple of times and then pin that again so that the ends are hidden. Now I might be a little ahead of myself making a New Year's Eve tutorial already, but I just thought this one was too perfect and I couldn't pass it up. I love that it's just a couple of knots to create this amazing mohawk hairstyle. And that's it for my seven days of holiday hairstyles. I love all of these. I think it's a great mix of things that you can definitely make use of during this holiday season. Comment below and tell me which one was your favorite and where you would wear it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.